right in the middle of a class 4 rapid here on the Pontax River. Looking back upstream. Incredible ice formations. That's the um, Pontax 3, which is a tributary of the Pontax. We're looking up the Pontax 3. And downstream, huge elevation drop. So I think over this next hill, it's going to be pretty neat. It's a, a windy river. It was really protected and um, intimate. And now we're out here in the middle of an enormous rapid, which is really neat. What do you think of it, Kev? I just learned to skate on snowshoes. <laughs> cool. Uh -huh. Get my skates out. Another big rapid here on the Pontax River. Hudson Bay Lowlands. It's on day five of the uh, snow trek. Sorry about the JQ camera. Um, we've just finished chopping wood and doing our chores, as I like to call them. And uh, the day is basically over. Once again, I'm exhausted. And I just want to uh, go in and sit down and relax. But I thought I'd just come up here and have a look around 
to see what the terrain looks like. And it's pretty common to what we've seen every night here. There's um, a lot of uh, coniferous, a lot of pines, a lot of black spruce, most of it I believe it is. A few uh, deciduous trees there. I think they're poplar, but I'll find out. But this is basically what it's like. Down by the river, there's quite a lot of dense um, trees along the along the river there. That's the Pontex uh, behind me. I'll see if I can turn around. I'm not great in these snowshoes. That's the Pontex down there, that flat, uh, that flat bit in the distance. You can see that there's sort of a tighter growth along the river and then uh, fairly barren once you get back. So um, that's all I got to say. It's about uh, minus 20 or so. So I don't want to keep my hat off for too long. But I thought I should record, uh, record something. Anyway, thanks for listening. This is night six on the Pontax River. We've finally got settled in and we're uh, just getting dinner under go. And we are about 70, mi 70 kilometers down from Hudson Bay Road. So we're about just a little under halfway from being at uh, Rupert Bay on James Bay. Um, you can see our tracks coming up. Tomorrow we'll head down river that way. Um, but I just wanted to show you our little camp setup. So we've come up a bit of an incline hill here. It doesn't, doesn't show you how steep it is, but it was actually a bit of a steep climb up here. We've come into this hollow of a tree, so I thought I'd just show you what, uh, what the setup sort of looks like. Sorry, if I do that, it means I've punched through the snow. It hasn't really set up that hard yet, and I'm not wearing snowshoes right now. So um, you have to bear with the camera shake a little bit. Oops, a little bit. Um, that's where I punched through already, coming out. And I might do it again. Ah, bah, bah. It's on my back. ah, there we go. So, come into the hollows here. This is my sled here. I flip it over at nighttime on its side just to keep the ice crystals from building up. Um, they're my, my Atlas snowshoes, which I have not worn a single day here, other than, sorry, three minutes from the highway. And uh, Dave said, uh, get them off and put the bear paws on. I gave you. And there's my box. In my box, I keep all my gear for um, that I need right away during the day. My water bottles, my uh, uh, nut bottle, uh, goggles, extra gloves, change of pants, all sorts of stuff goes in there. And uh, and you can see the other sleds that are sort of scattered around the place. Um, and then we sort of pack down the trail. People put it. We all put our snowshoes point up. So if it snows at nighttime, you can find it. Sorry. I can't stay in one spot here. Oops. Anyway, um, and then there's the tent. Our food boxes are out front. And we have the tent right there. The stovepipe coming out the side. 
It's a heated tent. We've got some firewood out front, more firewood inside. We've got a really good tree here we can cut wood. Let me just see if uh, if anybody's home right now. We'll, we'll go inside and say hello. Uh, just hang on. Ah, there. Ah, we have some people at home. Hello. That's Kai. There's Vanessa. Hello. Sorry, it's fogging up a bit. There's Dave. <laughs> and there is Matt in the background right there. That's the stove. We're cooking dinner. I'm not sure what we got on the go, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. Coconut curry. Coconut curry. <laughs> Heather, you're going to wish you were here for that. <laughs> Alright, and uh, so that's what I got. I just wanted to show you as my um, easy lounger back there that mm. I've got set up. Yeah, it's, the, uh, it's the latest model. Luxury so anyway, lounger. Take care. Bye for now. at the end of these ones. Here we are, Big Falls on the Pontax River. I've come around to the left bank to scout the route through, and it looks like this is gonna be a um, good way to go. You can just see the rest of the group there on the right bank and they're moving back to the toboggans now. We've got uh, some really neat ice here. I'm getting about as close to the edge as, as I dare here. <clears throat> and it continues down. It's a bit, uh, well, I think it's very difficult to get the sense of scale here, but a lot of elevation. We're going to use the GPS and measure the exact uh, drop here, but a really neat spot. Arctic Ocean, baby. Fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> I can taste a little bit of salt. Very minute. Yeah. You can taste salt, Dave? A little bit, not much. <laughs> tastes mostly fresh. <laughs> you try, Vanessa. We're still at the mouth of the river. Oh. I guess at high tide. Doing it. Okay. You didn't get her face. <laughs> yeah, I don't taste any salt actually. My turn, I'm salt sensitive. But you already thought you tasted some on the ice. I did.
less than the ice. Okay. <laughs>